Welcome to the heart of the Middle East, a region bathed in history, culture and unfortunately conflict, a place where the echoes of war reverberate through the ancient streets and into the hearts of its people. Today we delve into a relentless saga, a conflict that rages on, leaving a trail of destruction and despair in its wake. Every day, every hour, every minute, the devastation unfolds and the human toll rises. This is not just the story of war, this is the story of the Israel-Hamas conflict. In a world where peace often feels like a distant dream, the reality of war rears its ugly head once more. The ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas has reached a new grim milestone. The Palestinian death toll in Gaza has now surpassed 25,000, a number that sends a chilling echo across the globe. The United Nations has issued a stark warning stating that Gaza is in desperate need of more aid to prevent a widespread famine and disease outbreak among its beleaguered population. Meanwhile, protests are taking place outside Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's residence. Relatives and supporters of Israeli hostages held by Hamas in Gaza are voicing their despair and frustration. This conflict, which began with a Hamas attack in southern Israel on October 7th, has resulted in the deaths of 1,200 people and the taking of 250 hostages. Israel's response has been a bombing campaign and ground invasion causing significant destruction in Gaza. Despite the ongoing conflict, life in Gaza goes on. But it's a life marked by fear, uncertainty and the constant threat of violence. Children still walk to school, albeit through rubble-strewn streets. Families gather for meals even as they ration their dwindling supplies. And amidst the echoes of explosions, the call to prayer still rings out. A poignant reminder of faith and hope in these dire circumstances. Yet, every moment is overshadowed by the looming dread of another attack, another loss, another heartbreak. This is daily life in Gaza, a testament to human resilience in the face of relentless adversity. Now, Israel has announced the death of another hostage, a grim reminder of the human cost of this conflict. This war, unprecedented in the history of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, has not only resulted in an alarming number of casualties, but also caused massive displacement and destruction. Prime Minister Netanyahu has rejected Hamas demands for a ceasefire, Israeli forces withdrawal and the release of Palestinians held by Israel. He also dismisses calls for post-war plans that include a path to Palestinian statehood. His stance has raised concerns about a wider conflict involving Iran-backed groups in Lebanon, Syria, Iraq and Yemen. The UN Secretary-General has called for an immediate humanitarian ceasefire to relieve the suffering in Gaza. However, as of now, the plea has fallen on deaf ears, with both sides remaining steadfast in their positions. As the world watches with bated breath, the question remains, how much more suffering will it take before peace can be achieved? The answer, unfortunately, remains unknown. One thing is certain, though, the human cost of this conflict continues to rise, with the death toll now exceeding 25,000 Palestinians and the loss of yet another Israeli hostage. In the face of such devastation, the world must not forget the individual stories of loss and survival. Each number represents a person, a life cut short or forever altered by this brutal conflict. Each statistic is a stark reminder of the urgent need for a resolution, for a path to peace that respects the rights and dignity of all involved. As the world watches, the hope for peace remains. We see glimmers of it in the eyes of children playing in the rubble, in the resilient spirit of the people who refuse to be broken by the conflict. For the sake of those caught in the crossfire, we must continue to hope and work for peace. Let's hope that peace comes sooner rather than later, bringing with it a chance for healing and a brighter future for all. This is the reality of the Israel-Hamas conflict as it stands today. The death toll continues to rise, the humanitarian crisis deepens, and the world watches, hoping for an end to this devastating conflict. For now, the war rages on, a somber testament to the tragic cost of unresolved political disputes.